You can export your information from Excel into a friendlier format for those computers that don't have Excel. For example, you've got four to choose from at the very least. You can use XML, which is Extensible Markup Language, CSV, Comma Separated Values, Text, which is a really dummy down version of Microsoft Word. It basically has no formatting in it whatsoever. And then HTML for a web page in case you want to upload this on your website for other people to look at on their computers. And again, none of these, when you export them to those four formats, require that you have Excel. So we'll take a look at all of them. And to export these, it's simple. Go under the File menu, down to Save As. I'm going to click on Desktop and save mine to the desktop. And then down below, you can click on the Save As Type arrow, and then choose XML, and then click Save. Let's go back, File to Save As. Let's do the next one. Click on the drop-down arrow, and let's find or comma delimited values and then save. And the warning's basically saying that a CSV file, comma separated value, is basically going to change the formatting because we have formatting in Excel and it doesn't accept that in CSV files. So if you want to go ahead and you're okay with this, click yes. If no and you still want to force it to save a copy in the latest Excel format, then click no. But again, we want to make sure that others have access to this that don't have Excel, so we'll say yes. File to save as again, and we'll finish off the last two, and then take a look at them. Is text, save. Same thing, um, do you want to keep the format? We go ahead and say yes. And then finally, we can click and save it as a web page. And it's going to ask us a couple of questions before we save it as a web page. Do you want to save the entire workbook or just the sheet that you currently have selected? We'll do the entire workbook. We'll also check that we want to add interactivity so when people are on our websites, they can actually sort those columns even though they don't have Excel because it's based on the web page again. What is the title of the web page going to be? So far right now we've got nothing here and the title is going to be the blue title bar up at the top when people are searching through your web pages. So we can click on that and maybe we'll call it our payroll. And then we click OK it adds it as the title and then this is the actual file name. The name of the file on your computer that you want to pull up if you need to make any changes to it. And So what we'll do is we'll change this to something like DF's payroll. When we're finished, we won't click save, instead we'll click publish. And then finally it says, do you want to publish the entire workbook or ranges cells? And you can define those ranges, but we'll publish the entire workbook. And then down below, it's got the address, which is pointing to the my Dreamforces desktop. And then do I want to automatically republish this every time to save the workbook? So if I'm in the workbook making changes and I save the Excel workbook that you see behind me, do you want to automatically publish that as a web page so you can upload it to your website? We can check yes if we'd like. And then do we want to automatically open the published web page in the browser once I click on the publish button? We'll go ahead and click publish and take a look at it. Opens up in the web browser, I'll expand it. And because I'm doing it on my computer and it's not off the net, you see this little yellow shield up here. It's trying to protect your system. Well, I'm the one who published it, so I'm going to left click on it and say, yes, I would like to allow block content and then say yes I do want to see it and there we have it and it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like on the web. It gives you the same features so people who don't have Excel on their computer can simply click once to get rid of the fuzzy border. It's a security feature that Microsoft has now released on all its web browsers so in case if you didn't mean to click on something it doesn't automatically download or affect your computer. Then I can click anywhere in one of these columns just as if I was in Excel and do my sorting at A to Z or Z to A. Same functionality, but the nice thing about this is, is it's in a web page that any other computer doesn't need to have Excel in order to do the, the basics here. Go ahead and close out of that, and I'm going to minimize this, and we're going to take a look at the four that we just did. We already looked at the payroll here as a web page. We export it as a text file, so we can email that off. And everybody who has Windows has at least a text file, and you can see the extension.txt. So they don't need Excel, and they can double-click and open it up. And you can see it's each one had its own cell, and so it, in its place it has a tab. And you can see there's my first name, column, last name, social security number. Close out of that. Now, this does look like a little Excel here, but it's based on comma-separated values. You may have another program on your computer that opens these up. If you have Excel, it'll look at it and open it up in Excel. So double-click on it. It opens up as a comma separated value, but you can see I'm missing a lot of the formatting because I said yes, I do want to break down the formatting. So in case if you don't have the Excel program on your computer, I don't want it to be jumbled up with formatting errors. And then you can click and drag and stretch these out to see exactly all the data in between. 
And then finally we have the XML file, which is basically when it comes to using XML, the best that you're going to be doing as a Microsoft Office user is exporting that for the IT people. The tech people who know more about the XML language, as you're about to see here when I double click on it, will be able to use this and will say, yes, we want to open it. And you'll notice it opens up in the web browser because of the programs and the different programs you can use XML for. Long story short is that if you have Microsoft on one computer and you have another type of software on another computer, instead of trying to mix and match to see if we can get the data over, the uniform language that most softwares accept is XML, so you can export it from Microsoft in a clean XML format so the other softwares, whatever software they may be, can accept at least the basics here. Now, because it's so basic, you'll get the data, but you won't get all the fancy formatting. In this case, you will see it because it's pulling it up on the web browser. But again, I'm not, as a programmer, I may not want to pull this in my web browser. I may want to pull it in maybe Corel's spreadsheet files or another software vendor file. Again, the only thing you have to concern yourself unless you'd like to go into programming is how to export it as an XML file in case if one of the programmers is asking for that data in a format that is universal friendly to other programs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.